Bull Castle really kind of plays on people's emotions because it's a very sad story uh, about the history of it. And George Bolt was a millionaire hotelier he owned or was the uh, prior of the Waldorf Astoria in New York. And his family, they had a farm up in the Thousand Islands on Wellesley Island. And so he was familiar with the area there. Well, he married a woman and was madly in love with her. Uh, just thought the world of her. They had two children together and George bought this island in the middle of the river and he also bought a piece of ground upriver from it, which they quarried and they brought stone down the river in barges and they actually reshaped the island into the shape of a heart. And he then proceeded to start construction of this mansion, intentionally designed to resemble a German castle. During the course of construction, it was, I don't know, about maybe 70% complete. His wife passed away and he immediately stopped all work on the castle, just shut the project down. And he never returned to the Thousand Islands again after that. So it sat in disrepair, uh, it was getting run down. I think the the roof on it had actually collapsed. It was that bad. And the, uh, uh, there was a port authority uh, up there, mm -hmm. some agency, plus the, uh, a lot of local private groups got together and raised money and they decided to reconstruct it to make it look like it was actually completed and adjusted it to to try to make it look like the bolts actually had lived there so that people could see what it would have looked like if it were ever completed. This here is a portrait of George Bolt, and over here is a picture of his wife and two children. This is a very popular tourist destination and it can get quite crowded.
The top floors of the castle are not yet completed, and they have many architectural drawings up there. This is also a very popular wedding destination venue. This building is the power source that was supposed to run everything on the island. There's even an indoor swimming pool in the basement. This building they call the Playhouse, and at first I thought it was a playhouse for the kids. But what they mean by a playhouse, they would have guests over here, they would put on plays, they actually had a stage, and there were all kinds of things. There were there was chess games in here, there was a bowling alley in the basement. This door is actually curved. This door is actually curved. So remember, the bolts never actually lived here. Actually, no one ever actually lived in this castle. So the furnishings are just what they suspected they probably would have had. I'm sure they're pieces of the time, but there's, they have some wonderful pieces in there.
So I would highly recommend a trip to Bolt Castle. You could spend a lot of time there. There's many buildings, the landscape, the outdoors. It's beautiful. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back now, you hear? Thank you.